Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper on a Sunday afternoon. It is Mother's Day. My fur babies are sleeping, though, and they didn't even make me breakfast. What nerve. All right, I'm going to be using my Ink Tense blocks today. I got the 72 count. For the first time, I'm going to use them and break them out. But before I do that, I need to do some collaging. I'm going to do an art journal page with a quote, spring quote, since it finally, yeah, probably Eileen, I, I'm thinking I will keep, we're talking about my ink tense blocks because I started to put them in another holder with my Neo 2s, but they're just so, a lot softer than I thought they were, so I think I'll just keep them in the box. My Neo 2s, no big deal, they're sturdy and they can handle being out in the other box, but these feel like they're going to crumble, but, so, um, yeah, I'm going to do a journal page today. Now, just let me, it uh, doesn't look like it's as clear as it could be, so, let me get an ink pad and let me get it all focused here. Just a moment, let me open my webcam settings here. Hey, Cindy, nice to see you. Opening my webcam settings and Yeah, just getting my camera because whenever I change to a certain setting, there we go. All right, now let's put autofocus on. Let's get this nicely focused here. And take autofocus off. All right, there we go. Looks good now, I think. Or as good as it's going to look. It's my journal. Hi, Diane. Hi, Colleen. Nice to see you. I'm glad you guys all could get here. I know it's Mother's Day, and I figured you'd all be busy with your kids and or your mothers. But I'm glad to see you here. So my quote for today is, oh, dang it, I lost it. Hold on, I restarted Chrome and I forgot. Just a moment. <laughs> and I didn't write it down, silly me. I left the tab open, and then I... Okay, so the quote is, Sweet April showers do spring May flowers. So that is, and it's by Thomas Tusser. So that is the quote. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So I've got my Dilusions journal here that was gifted to me by the wonderful Patty Tolly Parish. And I will have to bring it with me to Maryland. Maryland, here we come, Maryland. All right, let's see. So I've got that page finished. That was the first page I did. I was in a, that was a week I was in just a bit of a, um, a unhappy mood. I wasn't, uh, things weren't going my way that day. Yeah, it's a great quote, especially if I take it out of con if it's taken out of context. <laughs> oh yes, and it's Colleen's birthday too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Colleen. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! And many more jazz hands. Okay. And I skipped that page. I might use that page today. And this was one I was trying to do some transfers with. And then this was one I just painted off some paint on. This one I did at Christmas time. You're welcome, Colleen. And 
So I think, oh yes, and then this one was the page that, this was what I was trying to do on the page with this wonderful quote. And this was after the shootings in France. A choir is made of many voices, including yours and mine. If one by one all go silent, then all that will be left are the soloists. Don't let a, sorry, don't let a loud few determine the nature of the sound. It makes for poor harmony and diminishes the song. Vera Nasserian. <laughs> hey, Diane. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Hi, Carrie. And so this is what I was trying to do. But after I did the orange, I, you know, went one step too far. Sometimes you have to know when to stop. And I went one too far trying to add some blue and green on top of it. And it went terribly awry. Didn't like it at all. So I went over it with black gesso. I redid, redid, this is the page I started on. So I went over it with black gesso, then I turned the page, redid the whole thing. And then I went back and a couple of my online friends, Carol, of course, loves chalkboards. So she had the idea of turning this into chalkboard. The white is actually my white artist pit pen that I used and then smeared so it would look like chalk. And so that was that. That's all the far I've gotten so far in this book. So I think I'm going to go back and start go fill in on this page today. Did I put the date on that other page? I hope I did. No, oh, doesn't seem like I did. Rats! I usually date my pages. Fooey! Ah. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to start with collaging on some music paper and some text. I have this old book that I found at a bookstore for a buck. And it's one of those old, well, it's not leather, but it's faux leather. Um, business administration textbook, section one, personal efficiency and selling. So it's an old university textbook. So Irving R. Allen, LaSalle Extension University, Chicago. That <laughs> carry. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've been doing... Oh, well, I have to show you my knitting. Hold on. I have to show you my knitting. Oh, I've got stuff to share before I start to do my journal. All right. So here was the first sweater. It's not done because I need to put... I still... I need to go button shopping. I need to go find some buttons. Buttons, buttons. But who's got the button? Buttons, buttons. Who's got the button? So the, the hood is green. So there's Elisa's sweater. Hey, Sarah! Nice to see you. Woohoo! Thank you, Denise. So, it's so nice knitting up a sweater for a one year old <laughs> for, well, like 12 month old size. Yeah. Goes pretty quick. I had it done in like three days, two and a half days, and not the, not even the whole day of knitting. Ha ha ha, Jeannie. Good one. And last night I finished Till's sweater. Different pattern. This was the first time I ever knit from a sweater from the top down. So you start with the hood and then work your way down. If I had done this one first, I would have done Elisa's this way as well. Because you have, you don't, it's all done in one piece except the arms are added on. Like, it's all done in one piece. So there's no seams to, that's the thing with Elisa, the way the seams went together. It's a little, might be a little scratchy. So I may be 
pulling Elisa's out and knitting it like this. So this is Till's sweater. This, I still need to sew in the ends, as you can see. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I don't think it's quite big enough. It's only size five, Carrie. I know you're little, but not quite that little. And it, so it was the first time I ever knit a sweater from the top down. It was the first time I ever knit a sweater with an eye band like this. So that was that was cool. I I haven't I haven't steamed and pressed it yet. I think I'm going to wait until mom's at mom's place to do that. So Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jillian. Thank you, everyone. Like Dee Dee, but to make these sweaters. I don't know if I could do, I don't know if I could do a knitting stream, Carrie. Um, simply because I can't, wouldn't be able to see um, and have you guys. Anyway, because I have to, I have to have my, my knitting needles up to my eyeballs. So, <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Yeah, it does make a cool edge, doesn't it? Yeah, and once it once it gets pressed, of course, once it gets uh, sized or whatever it's called, I don't usually do that with my sweater, but sweaters. But this one really needs it. This one also needs to be washed once or twice before he can wear it because it turned my fingers blue working with the uh, yarn because it's 100% cotton. The dye, kinda. So those are the sweaters. Then I got my delivery from, this was the other thing I was going to share and almost forgot. I got a del my delivery from Stuff for Scrapbooking. Oh, I also got my, <laughs> speaking of rabbit trails, I finally decided to order a PicScan mat. So, because I saw a couple of new um, videos using the PicScan mat and yeah, much easier than scanning it in and then cutting. It's much easier to do it this way. So, yeah. So I decided to get one. Didn't think I was going to, but I held off until I saw the right one. Well, they, well Diane, I, yeah, I will, um, I will start with the yarn that I have left over and see if I have enough. I don't know if I have enough, so that's the thing. Blocking. Thank you, Teresa. I knew sizing was wrong and I couldn't figure out the right word. I don't usually do it because I prefer the wet look of the knitting without it being pressed. But So, I was looking for stuff. I've been looking for fine liner bottles. And if you try and order them on Amazon Canada, they're like 50 bucks a piece and whatever. At any time I try and order them, and Simon says stamps or anywhere else, they're all anywhere. They're sold out. Even at Stuff for Scrapbooking, the fine liner bottles were sold out. So I found something similar. I don't know if it'll work as well, but we'll see. Good, good one, Jeannie. Good one. So I got these bottles. I got several containers of these. They were only a couple bucks. So it's this little bottle. And there's the cap. So it doesn't have like the metal tip or anything. It just has the fine, it just has a smaller nib, like the size of um, glossy accents. So I got some of those. Okay. They're like two bottles and tips. Okay. Anyway, so I got some of those. Um, they all, Stuff for Scrapbooking also had this. So this, I don't know. 
It might be the same thing, just a different way. It's Scotch Quick and Dry, but Tacky Glue. So Scotch Quick and Dry Tacky Glue. Is that just a new bottle? I needed some anyway, regardless, but I didn't know it was, I didn't think it was called Tacky Glue before. Anyway. I got some sea sponges for some sponges, different sizes of sponges for texture on my jelly plating. Oh, what can't you see, Eileen? Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, I'll show you again. Sorry, I didn't realize I had everything in the way here. Ugh, dang it. Hold on. I thought it was holding it the right way. Okay, where did the tip go? There it is. Ah. Okay. So you can have it. I don't know how that works. I have to look at the instructions. Okay, it has that tip. Oh, hold on. Oh, you cut it off. I have to, I'd have to cut the tip off. And this goes on. Yeah. And then the long cut, where did the other cover go? Anyway, there's instructions on it. So it comes with the metal tip, it comes with the plastic tip. Oops. Got in there. I don't want to lose it. Lose it. Don't want to lose it. Okay, I think I got all the pieces. Whew. Then the other kind I got were these ones. Oops. Sorry. Where's the cover? There's missing the cover. Oh, there it is. Then there's these ones that have the longer, skinnier nozzle. But there's no, like, there's no metal tip like the fine liner ones. They're just plastic. So there's no metal one to stop it from clogging. So I'll have to be careful with that. But I'm going to try it. So I got a bag of those. There's, they were six for, like, two bucks or something so I got those to try so I may leave one of those out to try with black paint today see what happens and then the other thing I got at uh, stuff for scrapbooking was they had a lot of the wow embossing paste on sale and I know I'm not really a fan of the wow embossing paste but they had them on for like two two dollars and eighty cents the long nosed ones are made by needle tip applicator bottles they're by Doris Doris Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of, of WOW embossing paste, but they had some cool colors for 280 so I couldn't uh, pass it up. All right, so this is Imagine Embossing Paste. And hold on, embossing powder, I mean, excuse me. I have to open my magnifying app here. Uh, 
Imagine Crafts Embossing Powder, and it is, uh, looking for the name of it, Sparkle. It's called Sparkle. Look at that. So I'm going to, I'll test these out today after I do my journal page. And, oh, got to love the Judikins Embossing Powder. You get like a huge container of it for, I mean, eight bucks, but I mean, at Michael's here, we pay eight bucks for the teeny tiny one, even smaller than this of embossing powder. So, yeah. So that's the Judikins Clear Embossing Powder because I needed some clear. Well, those are good quality bags. So I'll have to keep those. All right. Then I also got... All right, so this is the Wow Embossing Powder, and I got it in yes, um, okay, non-toxic, 0.5 ounces, 15 milliliters. Where's the color? It's not on the cover. Oh, Earth Tone Pepper. Earth Tone Pepper. So that's Earth Tone Pepper. <laughs> um, and then I got this Judikins iridescent sparkle one look at that Ooh, that's pretty this is the one that would be really nice on um i don't know if you guys can see the sparkle there there you can this is the one that would be nice on that napkin technique that i did on my last stream then i got this wow sparkly let's see what color this is sea glass <laughs> Okay, I think I've got more than just, uh oh, oops, <gasps> oh no, that was my, dang it, <sighs> and then I got a Judikins Diamond Sparkle, look at that, ooh, all a rainbow sparkle. Yes, I knew you would like the sea glass one, Sarah. I knew that. So, that was my haul from Stuff for Scrapbooking. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, and then I just got... Um, some of these brads. I've had these in my cart at Stuff for Scrapbooking like forever. They're just brads, but they look like screw nails. That's all. They've got the slots in the top. They're like, they look like screw nails. So I've had those in my cart forever waiting to find other things to buy. So let me just get my Stuff that fell over here, including my tin of here so I can reach it all right so back from the rabbit trail
get my footstool set properly. Oh, don't worry about the noise in the background. That's just stuff falling off the desk behind me. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. As I was starting before I went on that rabbit trail, I was going to start some, I don't know if there's anything in here with, I guess it's just all text. I thought there might be something with columns being accounting and stuff. I think I'll take one of these pages. All right. Who's tweeting me? Is that Dee Dee? Is Dee Dee tweeting me? This, this book is from, it's falling apart. So let's just say it's delicate. From, is there a date on it? Copyright. Nineteen fifteen, I think it says. Let me. I. I'm not sure. Get my app out here. Okay, where's the book? Oh, I'm at, there it is. Copyright nineteen fifteen. I was right. Copyright nineteen fifteen. Yeah, I know, Vicky, she is. <laughs> she sure is. Actually, the desk was the one area we didn't get to yet. I, I was working on it. I got this side done. But I didn't get the side behind me done yet, or part behind my computer. So, I've also got some music books here. An old, old... Soul Stirring Songs. What year is this? Let's see. No year on it? I don't know. Anyway. Oops. Treasury sight reader, sight reading, oh, geez, please. sight singing. And we'll see if I need any more than that. All right, so I need my matte medium. Yeah, I've got a fan on, so my papers are blowing all over the place. So let's just tuck them underneath another piece of paper. And I need my... Ooh, that glue brushes needs help. Hey Jan, nice to see you. Oh, I don't think I ever had a problem with me, me ripping up a music book because I ripped up my my Mozart sonata book pretty early into the game. I will not rip up a Bible. I will not rip up a official hymn book, but other than that. Okay, Jan, Jan, Twinster, Twinster. Nice to see you. However long you can be here is perfect. I know it's a special, special day for mothers and godmothers and grandmothers. Sorry, just peeling off my layer of medium here. Off the bottle. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, if it was an old, the old, the music a etude magazine, I would not rip that up. I would photocopy it and print it out, but I would not rip it up. off some of the this is hard to tear it's so old it just kind of falls apart so I get rid of that paper Be a little more gentle with these old papers, I guess. Hey, Jan. Yeah, doing a journal page for spring. Sorry, I'm down a little too far there. Move my camera a little bit more with this way. There we go. All right. I don't know, it's cloudy and overcast here. It's not raining yet, although it's supposed to, uh oh, that just glued down. <laughs> um, although it is supposed to rain, but it's very warm and very humid. So I've got my fan on in the background. So if you hear humming, that's my fan. I think I need to do them a little bit smaller maybe than what I've been doing here. A little smaller pieces. Now I'm kind of using some techniques that I've learned for background collaging from the life book one of Tam's lessons, um, but I've also seen like Vicky Pom Papalion use it. Hey Maria, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I think you knew I'm Jean. Hello, hello. Oh, and stack of shapes. SOS. Um, can't remember your name for the life of me. Oh, really? Eileen, because I heard there was one earlier, but there were no, um, there were no, uh, deaths or anything from the earlier one. So this is another one. Gosh, I have several friends who are here and still have family in the Philippines. Actually, one of our students is from the Philippines. I hope everyone is a... Goodness gracious. North London. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Maria. I am in New Brunswick, Canada, the east coast of New Brunswick. So as I was saying, 
Some of the collage background technique that I'm doing today is compilation from Tam from the Life book and from other a variety of people online that I've watched scrapbooking and etc. I want to cover this whole two pages here. These wonderful papers. And I'm not teaching a lesson. I'm simply scrapbooking for you guys, or collaging here for you guys to watch me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so I need some music for right down here. So why don't we just do a nice piece right along here. Whoops. a little piece. Let's do this piece with the toilet top page. Not that you're going to be able to technically see or read any of this anyway when I'm done because there's going to be several layers going over it. This is being done on the off chance that something of it may be seen afterwards. So basically that's what we're doing. So putting the gel medium in these, the Dove dishwashing liquid bottles was, the idea was presented to us by Sunset Carol, who's here in the chat. Hey, Fiona, nice to see you. And Bunny, hi, didn't see you come in. Hello, hello, hello. So I saw a couple of We Sarah's videos yesterday. She uploaded a haul video and a shaker card video. Nice to hear your wee voice again, wee Sarah.
All right, so now I need, I think I'm going to put text down there. So let's rip it this way. Okay. Oh, nice, Vicky. All right. So, let's see here. So, I'll put some text right here. Now we need a little bigger piece than that. Hold on. Okay, so not only does this glue down, this also make, gives the uh, page a... Uh... Hey, Robin! Nice to see you. ECB, nice to see you. Just doing a little journaling page here. Or our journaling page, art journal page. Do one of these. This paper's a little thicker. It's not quite as old a book. It's going to give us a nice little different uh, color here. Different texture of paper as well. Oh, actually, I think I want that side facing up because it's got the little. Uh, Extra. Okay. All right. There's one side. Let's get started on this side. Let's start right in the middle with some paper here with some music. Of course, we didn't even really have, but the quote April showers spring and May flowers or something like that close to that and uh, yeah we didn't really have April showers we had, we had a little bit of April rain but we still had snow all of April excuse me all right, so looks like I need to, oh, here's this one. All right, didn't use any of this one yet. Ugh, this poor brush is starting to look like a Joyce's. 
brush. Thank you, Teresa. Now let's try some of this. I'm trying to keep it all the bits and pieces underneath a, or inside a book here so they don't go flying all over the place on me. Try not to miss much of the uh, chat there, but I'm sure I am missing chatter. Keep chat. So just chat amongst yourselves while I glue and rip and glue. Oh, I missed what Robin's doing. So I called my mom. I had to call her back because she was still getting washed and dressed when I called. So, they've got her all. My sister was worried because they've got her, because my niece and her hubby are coming home next weekend. They've moved and they'll be taking over the basement where my sister's bedroom and stuff currently is. So my sister's moving upstairs into mom's bedroom because it's a little bigger than the third bedroom and they're moving mom down to the third bedroom because she just has a single bed and <laughs> anyway so Janet was getting mom all tucked in bed last night making sure everything was ready and and she was like, didn't I sleep in here last night already? <laughs> Jenna was like, no, 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 we just moved your furniture in here last, today. He's like, oh, I thought I already slept in here last night. So I guess if they were worried about her getting confused, it wasn't going to bother her any because she already thought she'd spend a night in there. So, <laughs> all's good. I think the dog was more confused than anyone because Nova couldn't figure out why mom was in the wrong bedroom. But anyway, she guards mom's door at night or in the morning after my sister goes to work she sleeps outside mom's bedroom door and guards her so she needs to know where to be to be on guard duty all right so i need another page from the textbook here I'm doing a journal page, CB, a journal layout for spring. This is just the, the background. I'm working in my Dilusions journal.
So I didn't get anything for mom for Mother's Day except for the phone call yet because I usually send her flowers, but I wasn't sure with the baby until <laughs> whether flowers was a good idea or not. So I told her I would treat her when I was home in two weeks. So I will treat her to supper then. Yeah, my mom turned 83 in December, but she's gone all downhill a lot since Christmas. Forgetting everything. Well, not our names. She hasn't forgotten our names yet. She still knows who we are, which I guess is good. Um... But she, she just forgets things that have happened recently. Your short-term memory is shot. And uh, health-wise, the doctor says she's fine. So, so, anyway. far as your blood work anyway everything came back fine but okay let's do this down here so in the end there'll probably just be bits and pieces of this that come through because I have to put a layer of color over it then a layer of gesso and then some more color so there will be layers. Oh, oh, I got something in capital letters and I missed it. Hold on. Um, no, school, the kids are finished here. It's five weeks. Kids are finished June 19th and teachers are finished the Tuesday after that, the 21st of June. So... Five weeks left, <laughs> which is very cool. It's not long at all when I only see the kids once a week. So some of the classes I actually only have my Friday classes, I only have them four more times, so, woohoo! Yeah, so, <laughs> that silly scotch glue does not want to stand up for whatever reason. All right, oops, hold on. All right, so I need a piece of 
music for here. That'll work. have enough there already. I'll have to put some on the outside, but have enough on the bottom. Great. Text here. Almost done, folks. Almost done. Fun watching all this gluing, huh? All right, so I need some text. Let's see what we need for there. I should have some Okay, I need a little piece of something there. Music. I need a little piece of music there, I think. Just to break that up. A little piece of music. Okay, this page is tougher than the other ones that won't come out. Hold on. Hey, Peggy, I am doing a layout, a journal page. sure this is all perfectly dry before I go on to the next step. That page should be, but there we go. Wow. CB. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just uh, 
using the side of the page to tear these papers that are hanging over the edge. <laughs> yes, you are getting good at Martian, CB. Very good. Must say. So my foster brother came up yesterday, and last weekend my sister came, went down to help my other sister, my younger sister, went to help my older sister. And yesterday my foster brother came up after work and helped my sister move some stuff around. Because she has to take her, all her clothes and stuff up from the basement so that Stacia and the kids can take over the basement bedrooms. And All right, feels pretty good. I used a lot of matte medium and this old, this old, old paper really sucked it up. So it stayed wet for quite a while. Actually, it's still a little wet down here. Just let me get this spot. Still a little cool. So I'm not using markers or anything, so it shouldn't ruin my, all right. So next, hold on. So. Okay, close that. Now, and need. I've been so bad with all of my brushes. So very, very bad. Okay, I guess I'll use this one. <clears throat> this next. Okay. Next, I'm going to take my ink tents. Let me move these books. Finished with my book. Let me put these here. See, this is the thing for me with these. It's not enough room. That's why I would have preferred if they would work in my square box. But yeah, exactly, Carrie, because it's so old. Carrie's saying, make sure I let it dry open because this old paper will keep, there's going to be lots of layers on top of it though, so we shall see what happens. All right, hold on, hold on people. I am trying to get enough room for everything here. All right, so trying to figure out my color combination. I want greens and blues. So I want a bright green. 
and the medium green and a dark green and then I want same thing with blue I want a bright blue a medium blue it's hard to tell which is medium blue and a dark blue okay so let's start with those colors cover that all right so i'm just going to start some coloring here these are my ink tense blocks my glue brush in the water I don't know how far this will spread yet I don't have as much history with the ink tents as I do with my Neo 2's so I'll just start here and there And then add the water and see what I have to do from there. All right. So, Sherry, no, they're they're ink tense blocks. This is just the first layer. It is not gonna look anything like this when I get done. Well, I guess it's not. <laughs> I don't think it is. And if there wasn't any green, I'd have uh, sent them back. And it went up a little too high with that green. But oh well, I can fix that later. So same things with the blue. It broke. Guess I have to be a little more gentle. I think I want a little bit more of the bright blue because. Oh, that one broke too. Oh, my goodness. Thank goodness they still work when they're broken. Yeah, I found that out the hard way, uh, Paula. Oh, hi, Paula, by the way. Hello, hello. took about three seconds of, of coloring for the first one to break. But see, like, that doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it doesn't bother me at all. Now I have two instead of one of that color. So, 
Hold on. I really should have my wax paper under here. Just one moment, please. <clears throat> my wax paper's right here. I just can't quite reach it sitting down. Okay. <clears throat> okay. more of that nice dark texture down in there. I like that. Mixed with the, the blue mixed with the green. All right, so now I need to dry this for my next step. Yeah, <laughs> rain.
So my niece and her hubby, their stuff is all packed in a, all packed and I guess gone to Hamburg waiting to go to Halifax and then to Westville. So it's getting close. Sorry, it's just wet in the middle here. I wanna, before I do the, uh, uh oh, where did my, oh, there it is. I was like, where did my gesso go? Oh no, oh no. Oh, still some wet up in the corner there. Well, my Crayola crayons now ha have all been unleashed, freed from their paper wrappers, so I can use them for the melted crayon technique taught to us by the wonderful Martha. Okay. Now on to gesso. I think I'll just use one of these. These are ones I bought for my glue. But since my larger ones seem to be all messed up. Oh, wait now, there's a larger one. No, that one won't work though. That one won't work very well. Hmm. I guess I need to get out the rubbing alcohol and clean all, clean some of my larger. Oh, this will work. All right, I need to unclog this major clog here. Looks like it didn't even get closed at all last time. Oh, um, I'm not sure, Denise, just probably not yet. Let me uh, make Eileen and Carrie mods, and then they can uh, take care of it for me. There you go, ladies. One of you take care of opening the links for us, please. Yeah, exactly, Robin. We had eight crayons. And if you wanted more than eight colors, you had to mix them. So now I'm taking just so. Uh oh, yeah, great. Well, guess I need to work very fast, don't I? <laughs> Get this gesso spread because I've got way too much in one spot. Okay, I need to use a better brush than this. brush sucks big time and so does that one that's not gonna work see dang it all okay I'll use this one I'll just have to wash it off really well I guess before I use it for my ink again okay I have to get out a baby wipe here because I put too much way too much gesso there if I can't get it spread I'm gonna have to wipe it down Do not put that much gesso on this for this technique, ladies. Don't need that much gesso. Okay. All right. Who saw where I laid down my? Oh, there it is.
So this is De La Rowney, bought at Walmart. Sure, I wipe all that off and now I maybe I can get it from, maybe it'll s spread from that there. Well, yes it will. That's good. That works. Just need to get a layer of gesso. Hey, Paula, that's good. You always make me want to hurt, so I guess it's a good time. Oh, yay, Carrie, you got it? Woohoo! Yay, Rena, Rain. So you can still see the texture, a little bit of the text and the music showing through, but not a lot. It was more just for, just as much for the texture. You can see it more in the green. The green appears to be a little more translucent than the blues. Because I'm going to add more. That's why I'm just doing the technique. It scared me too the first time, uh, Eileen, I did this, but it turns out really cool. So, turns out really cool. I'm gonna add more color and stuff. You guys saw also on my page from my life book journal and you all liked it. So as long as I'm remembering everything the right way, we're doing okay. <laughs> all right. So next step, I want to do the quote, I think, next. Sweet April showers, dew spring, May flowers. All right, and I want to do this across the top. So, where's my pencil? Sweet April showers. Do bring May flowers. I don't think I'm going to do pencil first because, yeah. Just be brave, Jean. Or do I want to do the other part first? Let me think this for a minute. I don't know if I want to do the quote first or if I want to do the flowers first. Sweet April showers, do spring May flowers. If I just put it across the top. There's a reason I want to put this first before I do the next step. Okay, so 
Okay, sweet April showers. Okay, so, sorry guys, I have to kind of turn this so I can sweet. April. Showers. Do spring May Oh, why did I do it this way? What a uh, flowers. Just ruined the whole thing. Oh well. Whatever. Work with it, Jean. Work with it. Alright, so next I'm gonna do my flowers. Oh yes, Big Brother Canada is on. Woohoo hoo! -hoo. I always enjoy Big Brother. I enjoy the U.S. Big Brother too, but I always enjoy the Big Brother Canada more. Anyway, okay. And I also love uh, Canadian Amazing Race. Okay, so next to do my flowers. have to do the colors around the letters so should learn my lesson my problem is if I do it in pencil I can't really see the pencil anyway This is a short one, and then maybe make this one a short one. One, two, three. Oh no, I only need five, right? Right, five. Okay, so. Now that was silly, Jean. Why did you do that? I don't know if this will erase or not. I need a little bit of cover up. Oh, see, I keep drawing them the same way. I want this one to go the other way. There we go.
Yes, this is a pit marker pen. So it will be permanent when it dries. Jerry-Ann. Well, that's why I made sure the gesso was nice and dry before I did this. Oh, and I didn't put, hold on, Thomas Tusser. T-U-S-S-E-R. Okay. I need to... Excuse me for a minute while I write that here. H A M A S T E S S E R. That's okay. I've got to add. I'll, I can fix that up a little bit. My color. All right. Um. So now. Connected to each of these needs to be a pretty flower. A fleur, as Paula says. Bye, Mit Bye Mitzi! Oh, sorry, Mitzi, you were saying, hi, Mitzi, I didn't even see you come in. You were saying bye to Jan. Sorry, I read that wrong. Bye, Twinster. Have a great day. See, rain? Yeah, springs. Exactly. Rain got it. Rain got it. See? Oh, Peggy got it first. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha. Peggy figured it out first. Well, the first one I saw anyway. Ha <laughs> ha.
All right, now I have to make sure that dries before I start my next one because I don't want it to smear. So I am going to heat set this just to make sure. Yeah, the quote is actually spring, so. Oh, really, Jillian? Oh, cool. Wow. Did not know that. I The name sounded familiar, but... Okay, so now I need more colors than just these ones. So... I need some yellows, some oranges... Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I need orange, yellow, and I want a golden yellow. I need an orange, golden yellow, and I want a real yellow. And I think I want this kind of green yellow as well. And then see. I think that's what I need. I think that's all I need. And I think I'd best put the cover on these just in case my elbow gets a little too long. Okay. So now... Oh, hold on. I need red. Kind of a pinky red. So, I don't know. my brush go? Yeesh. Okay, I need a thinner brush anyway, but where did my brush go? I didn't put it in the water. That's strange. It must have fell on the floor. My blue brush. Hmm. 
All right, so I'm going to need a straight one and a round brush, a flat brush and a round brush. So these are going to be like spring uh, leaves flat slash springs. Yeah, no, that's not it, though. Oh, yes, sorry, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I just didn't see it underneath the napkins. This one's going in the garbage because it's totally messed up. Okay. You can still see some of my background coming through there. Bye, Teresa. Good luck. I love potato salad. Oh, my mom makes the best potato salad. I do know her secrets, but she just seems to make it better. You know, I'll go back over it in black. I'll go back over the black afterwards. So if I get any paint on the black, it's not that big a deal at the moment. Oh, I forgot the forgot the uh, dark green for those. The ends of those. These go on more like um, totally different than the pens, I find. Um, they go on more like pastels do.
Okay, Peggy. Have a great day. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Do this first. Let's dry this one flower. See which oh, broke it. Whoops. Let's do the yellow first and then. I don't know if I said hi to you or not. I can't remember. Yeah, that's true, uh, Paula. Very true. Yeah, kind of like that, I think. I really need to dry it in between. Now it's not faded enough. Hello, hello, hello. I need a baby. Hold on. I went back and... Uh-oh, almost out of baby wipes here. Gosh. I think I'm going to do the flowers with this and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the rest of the background with my neo colors. I'm just going to see what happens.
Oh, oh. Not the... Oh, see that? Clean. Okay, I have enough problem doing ATCs. They're talking about inches in the um, chat room. I have enough problem doing something small like an ATC, let alone an inchy. I don't think I could. Okay, I think this time I'm going to dry this before I do my next layers. Of course, then they won't blend as well. They didn't blend over there anyway, so... didn't see you come in. Hello, hello. You've probably been here a long time and I just didn't notice you. I apologize. <clears throat> right. Do it from the block. must say I'm glad I got them like at about 60 65% off because I would be kind of unhappy if I paid full price for them to tell you the truth compared to the compared to the pencils I liked my intense pencils which is why I got these <laughs> Janice, 
glad you could stop in. Have a great day. Okay, let's dry that. Oh, that's so sweet, Eileen. Her kitty cats ordered her some dyes from Ellen Hudson. Artie and, uh, Artie and, what's the other little guy's name? Oh, um, um, Artie and Aubrey? No, not Aubrey. That's not right. Augie. Thank you, Augie. I should have remembered that because it's, it's the name from, uh, um, what's the TV show? All right, so let's put these away. I think I'm going to try the rest with my Neo Color 2s. Let's get out my Neo 2s. Okay, the cover. My Neo 2s, which I reorganized thinking I was going to keep my ink tents in with them, but I'm not. 
All right, so for my Neo2s, I want, let's see, I need light green. I need a medium green. And I need a dark green. And I need the three blues. Plus, I need also to add some reds and oranges. So, all righty. So, let's start with the greens and the This is a lot of space to cover in coloring, Jean. I don't know why you did this way. Should have got some clean water. Yeah. Well, I won't be buying Eileen because I'm saving my money for Baltimore. Baltimore shopping. Really should have got clean water for this. Darn it. You know, masks as in stencils, as in the opposite of stencils, I should say. Well, just like masking off certain areas, different masking techniques and such. Okay, I'm going to dry these areas as I go here so I don't mess up. Not working out as good as my one following her exact plan, but oh well.
Hmm, I wonder. I may just have to spray <clears throat> when I'm ready for water. I've got water here in a spray bottle. Because my water in there is not clean enough for it to work well here. So, alright, so let's do red here. Go to it to orange. And some green down here. Uh oh, hold on. All right, I gotta lay them this way because they keep rolling away and I can't see my three colors. Hold on. There we go. There, put them that way. So now instead of using my, I'm going to spritz here to get my water since my rinse water is so dirty. Of course it could be the, oh I know what the biggest, I bet I know what the biggest difference is. I'm not using watercolor paper. Uh-huh. I just realized that when I did this in my other journal, I was using watercolor paper. Aha! Uh -huh. Just figured out the issue. Yep, that'll be the reason. Right there. And I'm just getting some more orange here, which is going muddy, of course. That's right. This is my Diane Reeve. That's why my colors aren't showing up as bright. But that's okay. Whatever. You learn, right? Live and learn. I guess I need to just keep going. Ignore all this stuff here. So I will guarantee that this technique works much better on watercolor paper. Good to know. Wasn't a thinking of that when I decided to do it in this journal. Totally. Did not come into my mind at all. And the best wipe off between my orange and green, I'll get mud. Okay, Jillian. water down there? It's not. Mm, 
muddy red there. Okay. Alright, so this is going to go blue up here. And a little medium blue. And then some dark blue in here. And then let's do reds. So I'm just trying to, you know, fill in these areas, but with it being use a smaller one I think here with it being oops that's not there's my block there it is I'm not gonna turn out as nice and bright as it does on the watercolor paper. Uh, Gesso CB. So I, I collaged with I collaged the paper down with the matte medium, and uh, then I put a layer of color down using my um, ink tense blocks. Then I did a layer of a light layer of gesso, and now I'm re-adding some color using Neo Color Twos. See, I added a little more pigment on this, that one, and it came out much better. I have to add that black back in and fix it. That was the gesso. Yeah. Yeah, the gesso kind of covered over the blue and the green. Green's more trans transparent, so when the gesso went over it, it kind of covered it more. Yeah, so. You can still see some of the text and the music and stuff through it, which is fine. A 
All right, I'm going to see what happens if I dry this because I may go over this with a little more ink again if this stays a little more vibrant because I don't like the, that it's not vibrant over there. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sharon. Well, my one I did in my life book that was on watercolor paper definitely worked out much better than this. That's for sure. I still have to do this whole top part, but anyway, I'm getting there. I think I need to, I'm not going to be happy unless I put a little more color over here. A little more vibrant. See over here, it's because of the well, no, there's green underneath there too, so it shouldn't be just that, but anyway, that's a little better. Guess it wasn't just, just wasn't putting down enough uh, of the orange. There we go, it's a little better. Okay. So let's keep it going. All right, so this time I'll do green here. Darn it. Guess I should have dried that, huh? Let's dry this off before I smear it again. Um, they're okay, Eileen. I think I would have to try them on, to give them a good shot, I think I'm going to have to try them on watercolor paper and see what because I'm not really liking I'm liking the Neo 2's better on this but I don't like the Neo 2's on this as much as I like it on watercolor paper either so I'm gonna have to see I'm gonna have to see I'll give it a shot on watercolor paper before I make a final decision that I uh, thought yeah They're certainly easier to work with because you don't have to worry about them breaking. Like, I can put all the pressure I want on these and they're not going to break. I think I need another brighter red here. Give myself a third red to work with. All right, and then orange on the bottom. Let's give myself another orange as well. Oh, it's too close to the same color. Let's do a real orange. Ah, that'll work. That'll good.
Thank you, Colleen. Ironing, Fiona, what's ironing? What's ironing? The only thing I iron is crayons. So I'll be going back over the black lines again to make sure that they come prominent, prominently. Oh, that's better. I think I'm going to spread some of this pigment over here. Lots of pigment on this one, so I think I could spread it around a little bit here. <sighs> oh, school uniforms. Yeah. yeah, we don't have uniforms over here, thank goodness. Don't buy anything that needs ironing. If it does, if it needs ironing, it does not come into my house, or it gets worn wrinkled, one or the other. All right, I'm just going to dry each section as I go. More pigment as I get over here. Oh, there was also a little more gesso on this side, wasn't there? Sorry, I'm getting matte medium on my fingers here that I'm rolling off. I'm also using my fingers. I'm not sure how I managed to get matte. Oh, yeah, I guess when I was holding the papers. All right, so...
Yes, Neo 2s are permanent when dry. Yes, they are. Most definitely. Orange there. I don't, wanna, I don't want that to run too much because that will make mud. I want the bright orange in there. to worry as much between the red and orange of course that can blend a little more Just to worry about the orange and green and the red and green okay okay <laughs> Arlene yeah the ink tents are as well they will reactivate oh really I didn't think they would anyway I don't know I haven't used them enough, I guess, really to figure that out yet. All right, I apologize that information I gave was wrong. Apparently the Neo2s will reactivate. Apologize for that misinformation. Okay, I'm gonna spray the... Next stream, I'll make sure I've got some nice clean water to use. Just trying to get a little more pigment over here. It went a little dull on me. Okay. I still have to do a little white to fade these things through, but anyway. Okay, so. Ink tents, I, I knew the ink tents were permanent. Ink tents are permanent. Neo colors will reactivate. There you go, folks. Yeah. Not liking this result at all. But anyway. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, darn. All right. Hold on, you rascals. Get rid of that running. I forgot to dry it. This time. Oh, thanks, Carla Angel. Forgive me this time. Oh, dear.
keep putting mine. Alright, I keep putting my Man, orange go. Didn't get much orange up here, did I? Okay, so, all right, so that's the bottom part, except for I need to do some of the fading with some white paint, but we'll get to that. Oh, why a white meow? Oh, well, dang it, look at that. I wasn't watching. What do you get for watching chat? Yes, everything can be fixed with a baby wipe, huh? Okay, well at least the top's going to be all blue, so it won't take as long as the bottom. Go in and fix that a little bit. That's better.
Now I'm not sure if my white meal color will do what I want to do for my next step. So, but I'm going to try it and see if it will work as a blender between all these color layers. Oh, yay. Okay, good. <clears throat> Paula, will it all be stuff we have to bring with us for the class in Maryland, or will some of it be supplied by you and Patty? Bring everything? Oh, Paula, I can't. You don't understand. Ah. My paper is starting to feel more like uh, like fabric or something than paper. <laughs> Plastic, I guess. So. All right, so let's see if my white neo color will do what I want it to do. All right, I'm going to use my round. Oh. Okay, I think I'll use this little cover here. Put some water in it because I really don't have any clean water left in my container. So I'll just spritz some. So I'm just spritzing some water in this cover to use. With my white. Because I do not want my. Oh, let's see here. This will do what I want it to do. Or should I just oh, I really need clean water to do what I want to do. Let's get another baby wipe out here. Hold on. Hold on. Who got my favorite saying? Maybe just a baby wipe will work. Okay, all right. No, that's not going to do what I want. But I think coloring will. I color onto it. And then... it. I just have to remember to. I think I will be better off using some white paint. I need some white acrylic paint, I believe. Excuse me for one moment, please, while I get my tube of white acrylic paint. I could use gesso. No, I think I... I think I prefer white paint. I think I can control my white paint a little better than maybe not, but we shall see. Oh my gosh, I've been on forever. Is my three hours almost up? Oh, two and a half. Okay, yeah, right. I was a little late getting in. And I didn't start recording right away, so. Okay, so. 
Let me dry this again then. Hold on, I'm going to get a better palette since I have to use my paint. Oh dear, LJ. Okay. Okay, so this is Dollarama white paint. And I poured out way, 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 way too much. <sighs> Gosh darn it. But oh, thank goodness it's cheap, I guess. There's my cleanish white one. Okay. Alright, so now it needs water. All right, Where'd my paintbrush go again. All right. Oh, really? I use Mac Chrome on my Mac all the time. That's what I primarily use. Mine's fine with the Chrome. Cross my fingers. Didn't speak too soon. I've used Chrome for years on my uh, Mac, and it is just has been just fine. Too much water in the white. Oh well. Just a little more blending there is not too bad between orange and red. All right, this is not working at all with it not being watercolor paper at all. Not working at all. Not at all. Too much water in the paint. Hey, wait a minute. What do you guys I missed something important? Yeah, I missed something important. All right, I need to put out some more paint and not put as much water on it. All right, whatever. It's almost to it. 
Maybe I should have used my gesso. Maybe this paint already has enough water in it. There. That's better. Okay. Got it now. That's what I wanted. All right, don't put too much water in your right paint. It won't blend for you like you want. Good lesson. Especially when it's cheap white paint. It already has enough white in, water in it. Did you guys, I don't see Patty. Everybody's saying hi, Patty. <sighs> but anyway, if I miss seeing you, hi, Patty. Just trying to fade out some of the lines where my colors like meet by adding some white. <laughs> you did jelly plate surgery, did you? <gasps> Stray dreams! Julia's here! Did you cut it up, LJ, like I did? And like, of course we all blame it on Patty because she did it first with hers, but then I cut mine into smaller, four smaller ones when I got my larger one. And I got my 12 by 14. And I cut my eight by 10 into four nice small ones. And then I bought the round ones, the four and six inch round ones. I didn't think I'd use the eight inch. Yeah, I just used a steak knife on mine. <laughs> Worked fine. Oops, just painted my hand here. Bye, Jeannie. Oh, Julia, it's so cool to see you. Hello, hello. Oh, I see your posts on Facebook every now and then, and nice to see you. Sorry I called you out. I saw you come in, and I just had to. Sorry, I got excited. Look, Julia, I've got inky fingers. <laughs> Julia, 
it's all Dee Dee and, Ju and Paula's fault too. They made me. Okay, now I think I'm gonna have to dry that and then do my, all right. It's about as good as I'm gonna get it, I think. Not as good as I want, but definitely not working as well as it did on the watercolor paper. Any of it. Not, nothing of it's working as well as on the watercolor paper. But that's okay. I have to go back and watch the video maybe as well. Again. There we go. Getting a little bit more of a look I want there. Second layer. Totally blend. There we go. All right. So now, just do a little heat gun. Then I need to do the blue. But the blue won't be so hard because it's just going all with the three different blues. So it won't take as long. Cool, Julia. Nice to know. I know, huh? Who would have thought? Who would have thought it a couple of years ago? Certainly not me. I think I need to put a smidge of green right here because it's going to look pretty funny if the sky suddenly appears there. So let's just let that. Oh yes, Julia's little, do you still have your little car there, Julia? Yes, I can. I'll show you. Let me see if I can show you up close. Especially down on the bottom, you still can. See? You can see it come through. Not as much up in the blue area, but you can down on the bottom. You can, I can see it better than you can than I can see it on camera. I'll try and get a good picture of it. I'll do the black last. I'm going to turn this around in order to do the blue because just because it'll be easier that way. Let me put all the other colors away before I mess them up or something like that. I don't want to knock them over and give Dee Dee a heart attack or anything by dropping them. If she watches my recording, that is. Okay. And. Okay. So, this will be easier because it's all going to be blue. So, it'll be much quicker. Do all my dark first. Is it really, Julia? Cool. Julia. It's Julia. Julia. Street Dreams is Julia. For all our newbies, Julia I used to be here all the time and got busy with her granddaughter. And such. So it's wonderful to see her stop in.
and I want more of this. And I can probably use this one and I need some water sprayed out here. Okay, glad I did that because I need to clean this brush better because some red just came out in that spritz. <clears throat> I'm going to have to do it with a baby wipe because I do not want any pink in my sky. I want it to be blue skies, blue skies. Blue skies. 